having a heck of a day. A heck of a day. I usually like, I usually have to be on meetings from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'm used to that, but today and yesterday, like my day job has just been insane. Like I've had so much to do in the last couple of hours. So it's like, it's 1.30 p.m. and I'm having my first meal of the day and I have a whole bunch of food just everywhere. Like I have some avocado toast, I have a bowl of like sweet potato and avocado and burgers. So yeah, today is, today is rough, rough. matcha I'm about to make my matcha before I start work but I did want to say that I have wavy hair and I just was upstairs like I took a shower and then I was just upstairs like refreshing my waves slash curls and I figured you guys might be interested as to what I do so I use a Shea Moisture I think it's like a deep conditioner I can try to find a picture and post it in here and I'll like dip my hand in there, get like a thin layer of it, and then also put water on my hand. I'll try to show you guys in the next vlog what I do for my like wavy curly hair. I, I feel really happy about my hair today, and I feel like I have a whole routine for how to get it to like curl upright after I sleep on it, because I only wash my hair like once a week. We're gonna do a quick grocery haul. I just picked up my groceries from Whole Foods, and I wanted to show you the types of things that I get when I go to the grocery store. We have frozen tri-colored sliced carrots. These I will put in stir fries, I'll steam them, I'll put them in the gut healing super soup. Organic pasture raised eggs. I actually just recently got reminded that you're looking for pasture raised, not free range when you're buying eggs or chicken. Free range, basically they don't have access, like they might have a small door to get outside, but there's like a billion chickens in this little area, but pasture raised, they get like 187 square feet per chicken. So you have a lot more healthy eggs and healthy chicken when you buy that. I got butter lettuce. I have my favorite yogurt here. I have ate this pretty much the entire time. I've had X in the whole since 2017 forward. I've recently gotten into parsnips. For those who don't know, it looks like a white carrot. It tastes like a spicy sweet potato. <laughs> That's how I would put it. I keep showing you guys this bread. Um, this is the pumpernickel rye bread that I've been eating for my hydrogen sulfide SIBO. It really doesn't affect me. I've been eating it for a while now, so. I have my avocados. I eat like an avocado a day, basically. Quite a lot of purple sweet potatoes. I have been eating purple sweet potatoes quite constantly. Like I eat them every single day because like I've been telling you guys, they're good for healthy poos and regulating your digestive system. They're really good in insoluble fiber. So these are my groceries. For the first time ever, I'm gonna finally show you guys how I make my collagen dessert. I talk about this pretty much constantly. So finally, you guys are gonna learn how to make it. We're gonna take a scoop of collagen powder from Ancient Nutrition. I should probably show you guys all of my ingredients that I use just so you know exactly what I'm using. We have the multi-type collagen by Ancient Nutrition. I have carob powder, but it's I just put it into a jar. That jar is not the jar of the carob powder. The carob powder is Australian carob. Then I have a psyllium pre and probiotic fiber. And then I have maca powder. So we just put one scoop of collagen powder in the bowl. Now I'm gonna go in with the psyllium husk. Use about this amount. Then I'm gonna go in with a heaping spoonful of carob. Carob is really tasty. It has a taste that's similar to chocolate, but a little bit on the licorice side of things. And then mock powder has 
Sarah's Day describes it as a honeycomb flavor. Um, I would say that it's similar to caramel, but it's like an earthy caramel, I would say. So basically all I do is mix this all together and then I'm gonna add in some plant-based milk. You guys know the drill. Three Trees Oat and Seed Oat Milk. I don't know how to describe this, but I'll show you when it gets to be the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay, this is more of the consistency that I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna add in the ice cream. Today I'm using the Coconut Bliss Infinite Coconut. This guy is just so stubborn, I have to use a fork to get the ice cream out. The ingredients of the ice cream are coconut milk, water, coconut, gargum, coconut syrup, coconut cream, dried coconut, coconut extract, vanilla extract. So it's that's a it's a lot of coconut. I will make this right before I eat my dinner. So my dinner's already made and I will prep this so that when I'm done eating dinner, I can just go ahead and eat my dessert because I try not to raise my insulin levels too often in the day. So I try not to snack, but I definitely do snack. Um, so this is what we got. And I'm gonna put that into the freezer until after dinner. Good morning and happy Friday. I finally turned off that skin smoothening thing on my camera, finally figured it out. It is a new camera, my vlogging camera. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. It is Friday. I'm gonna relax the rest of the weekend. This week was really stressful at my day job and like I feel like my eczema is starting to like, you know how healing isn't linear? Well, it was, and I feel like it's dipping down, and so hopefully like, I can have a really good weekend and my eczema can really heal because it doesn't feel very good today because of all the stress. I've been eating what I'm supposed to be eating, so it's just the stress, and I've been really, really, really stressed. I wanna hear from you guys, and you let me know what you wanna see from these vlogs. In my next vlog, I'm gonna be talking about supplements, so I'm gonna walk you through like my daily supplement routine in vlog style and hopefully like you guys will enjoy that if you think of anything else i should be vlogging let me know in the comments down below so i'll see you guys in my next video i need to go rest for the weekend bye i like crashing waves but i want to see them at first light after a long night and see the sky takes